my channel, Megan Victoria. If you're not, what well, I do, I've done that like three times this week now. If you are not new, no. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. If you are not new, then welcome, hello. What's going on? You already know all the things. Um, so today we are doing this makeup look. It is, when I always say like, guys, I'm going outside my comfort zone. I'm trying something different. And you're like, no, Megan, you're just like not using rose gold. That's not like going out of your comfort zone. But this, this is a little out of my comfort zone. This is like silver, sparkle, shimmer, smoky, and red lips. Like things I just like don't do. But um, YSL is having this like pop-up event and the, like basically the hotel is just gorgeous. It's just an Instagram playground. So I'm going down there. I had a photographer. He canceled. That's really unfortunate. But I'm taking my tripod. We're going. Nothing's going to stop me and stand in my way. But anyway, if you want to see how we create this glamorous makeup look, <clears throat> hello voice, then please just keep on watching. All right, let's get started. So this is definitely going to be a let's... Exactly. It's going to be a figure it out as we go kind of video. But I'm just going to start by putting some concealer on the eyelids and prepping our eyes. All right, so I'm just going to take some Maybelline gel eyeliner. I haven't used this one in a while, and it's here, so perfect. And I'm going to just start by building that outer corner. Totally cool if it's messy. And we're just going to take our finger and kind of just tap it out so there's no excess product. And it'll just gently blend it. Like, for real, though, we're going to be cleaning it up later. This is why we're doing the eyes first, so just kind of get that product on there and don't really worry too much about the shape. So now I really want to keep those outer corners super dark, so I'm just going to go straight in with a black eyeshadow and just set that in place, like, right away. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush, just a small one, just soften out those edges. Then you can just take a bigger blending brush just to really get that fluffy effect. And if you notice, like, I didn't even go in with the transition shade because I'm really trying to make this, like, a black and, like, silver vibe. Okay, so now we have this, like, inner corner area, and I kind of want to bring this in on, like, an angle, almost like it's a winged eyeliner. So I'm just going to take that little blending brush and kind of start pushing it into the center and inwards towards the eye. Just going to get this nice little sweeping motion. And just so we can build up the pigment a little bit more, I'm just going to take a liner brush with a little bit of that gel liner and just kind of create that wing, or not that wing, that eyeliner kind of dragging into the middle of the eye. Just so we have something kind of a guideline to follow. You're getting this like really kind of cool graphic-y shape. Alright, so then we'll just take that big brush again. Just give it a nice little blend. This time you can kind of use it to follow that shape we've created as well. Okay, so now we're going to move into a little bit more shimmers and kind of make the look a little bit more interesting. So we're going to take um, just a small little brush and we'll go into this shade called Drift. And it's like a silver, but it's like a blacky silver. So we're going to start using that kind of in that in-between area to kind of just transition out of the pure black. And now we're more into this like gunmetal kind of color. So just remember to keep everything kind of coming on an angle like this. Okay, so then the next silver we're going to go into is in our little Eve Pearl palette. So we have these two little silvers. We're going to first take the bit of the darker one and lay that down. You're kind of just tracing that little shape we've created. And then we'll move in to the lighter silver. Kind of pop that down. Then I even have this little bit of silver glitter, and I think I do want to add a little glitter. I wasn't sure. So we'll just add a little bit of this, like, new Pop Beauty palette. And just pop that right on the inner corner. Instantly makes your look so much cooler. <laughs> You're like, glitter? Yes, please. Then you've got your little brush, and I'm going to go back into the black. We're going to use that now because we have enough colors happening. We're going to use that to kind of just define that crease area. And kind of bring it in. Like you want it to kind of just meet with that silver. And just blend this out. You want to wing this a little bit more than you'd usually wing your eyeshadow. We're going to just take a very basic little brush gonna just dip into this breakaway shade just a little bit of a shimmer just want a shimmery brow bone with a tiny bit more warmth so I think what we're gonna do is just go back in with our gel liner our little angled brush it does not have to be neat again but I'm just gonna kind of reline the eye because we still want a point of definition and focus 
the drill, liner, lashes. I will be right back and I will also do my eyebrows and then we will move on to the face. Alright, lashes are on. We are moving on to the face. So um, when I was doing my makeup, I had already applied my primer just so it can set in and be all lovely. So now we are going to do the face. First thing I'm going to start off with is the Ultra HD uh, Soft Light from Makeup Forever. Alright, so we'll just apply a little bit of that. This is just going to give us a little bit more light underneath the foundation, especially when we're wearing matte foundations. Because it's been a little bit cooler here, um, I can get away with putting a little bit more glow in my foundation. This is the NYX sponge, and I've been really liking it. It doesn't seem to absorb your foundation, and I really like the shape of it, too. Alright, so now we need a little salmon concealer action. You know the drill. Especially when we do this dark of makeup. You really want your under eyes to be vibrant. So just blend it in like that. Then we're going to go in with our lighter ColourPop concealer as we are really going to try and highlight this face. Then you can take your sponge and blend it in and it has this little ridge right there. So it's like the perfect little shape for under eyes. LOL, what was that? What did I just do? Oh my god, okay. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Oh my god, I did on the other eye. What is wrong with me? My spatial awareness is not doing so well today. So this is what we'll do. First, we'll almost like set this because if we didn't, so this is actually a good tip. So if you make a mistake, we're gonna set it with some translucent powder. And my theory is that by setting it just with the translucent powder, that means the eyeshadow won't like glob onto it and then it will blend a lot softer and smoother. So we can actually work with this. Yeah, see? And then with the powder, it'll all blend together. Bam! Look at that. Alright, and we'll do the same on this eye because, yep, we fucked up this eye too. And then you can just take your finger. Maybe need a little bit more powder. It's almost like you're, little, you're baking that little spot. And then it'll blend out softer. So I'll just take my little detail brush and kind of just finesse it back into place. All right, so let's set the under eyes. So we're just gonna use some translucent powder. I'm gonna dip that onto the sponge because I do want a little bit more powder because this is obviously glamour makeup and needs to last for a long time today. So we will stamp that in place and then use the rest just to stamp the center of the face. And then you can even just take a little translucent powder just to really kind of sculpt out that wing. I know I said we were going soft, but that's before I made all those mistakes. So now that we've made the mistakes, we're just rolling with it. And just kind of roll, and then it can wing it out. That's so pretty, actually. Dope! Alright, let's do our eyebrow. Right, so to finish off the eyes, we're going to take it to the lower lash line now. So first thing I want to do is I do want that nice and deep and dark. So I will take a little bit of my black gel liner. I'm gonna run this right along the lash line. So just take a little bit of that drift shade so it's just like a little bit more smoky. And we'll just run that right on top. And we'll just get a little bit of a shimmer and a little bit of a smoke, but like nothing that's like really dragging it like down. We want everything kind of like up and out. So then we're gonna just take our Sigma Longwear Eye Pencil and line our lash line so we just got a nice black line so very simply for the inner corner let's just take a little bit of glitter on our pinky finger and just kind of finish off that inner shimmer sparkle look at that so dramatic and then we'll just take a little mascara just using benefit bad gal bang and apply that to the lower lashes so i'm just sweeping away that powder from the eyes just like so and then what you can do and I do like to do this sometimes not that brush uh, <laughs> just take your little blending brush and you can just kind of go over that line just to soften it and then it makes it look like you created it rather than say powder or a stencil or like whatever our face we definitely need to sculpt this bad boy out let's start with some um, good old fashioned physician's formula bronzer. I want a little bit more chiseled because I am taking photos. So I'm going to really take that fan brush 
and chisel out my cheeks. Take the Physician's Formula, and I'm going to take this last shade. It's such a good, like, matte bronzer shade. And we'll do the exact same thing. Just take it and chisel out those cheekbones. All right, so again, I don't want the highlighter to be insane, so I'm just opting for my Wet n Wild highlighter. It's a beautiful shimmery gold, like a gorgeous glow. It's not too shimmery or sparkly, but it definitely still stands out. And also, because I am going to more of an event and taking pictures, I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit, so we'll just run that like Physician's Formula bronzer just down the sides of the nose. So as you guys know, this is a lot of makeup, <laughs> clearly, and usually I would opt for like a pretty neutral lip because obviously we have so much happening with the eyes, but based on the event today, we're going for a red lip. So this is a lot of makeup, I know. So first I want to start with a red liquid lipstick and then I'm going to top it off with one of the um, Stay Satin, the new colors from Rimmel, just to really get like a red the only red liquid lipstick I have so I want to make sure it's like it's on there actually wait no 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 I have <gasps> no wait, 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 wait. okay I tried getting off whatever okay so we're actually gonna use creeper from Colourpop this red is just such a good red look at it it's just like oh yes this is what I needed so pretty Hafni like kind of wants to keep it matte but I always I just hate it because I feel like it doesn't have enough so we're gonna go over it with the, what's this one called? This is called Radical, like Radical, haha. And I'll hide that over top. Yeah, it's a very similar color, but it's just gonna give us a little bit of a satin finish. I'm applying it mostly to the center and then just like kind of blending it out to the outer corners. And there we have it. So this is our final look. You guys never see with my you never see me with my hair done, but I'm actually headed out today. Okay, so real talk though, my photographer like literally just canceled on me, which is so unfortunate. But I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna take my tripod, I'm gonna take my camera, I'm gonna take my little remote thing, and I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna create really great photos because I do not quit that easily. So we're gonna head down, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, and I really hope you enjoyed this one. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.